for each function in question two, and um, let's pick let's pick e because we did that one, right? So the function was x squared plus three x plus two. Um, it says use the derivative to evaluate f, and the way we'd read that is f dash two. So we worked out f dash x. It's right here. Okay. So it's two x plus three. Yeah. So far, so good. So the reason why we use this notation is because I can deal with this just like any other function. So part one says, what is f dash 2? Okay, first let's evaluate it and then let's think about what does that even mean. Um, this here is f dash x. So f dash 2 means wherever you saw an x, replace it with a 2. So I'm going to write, you're a step ahead of me. <laughs> I've replaced the x with a 2. That's 4 plus 3, which as Rasten says, is 7. Is that okay? Now what does this mean? This f dash x, it tells me the gradient at any point you like, right? The point they seem to be interested in is x equals 2. At that point, the gradient is 7. How would you describe that visually to someone? 7. Gradient of 7. That's very steep. Is it going up or going down? Up. So this is increasing. Yeah? Increasing, very steep. Got that in your head? Part 2. Find the y coordinate of the point p on this original function where x equals 2. That was a mouthful. Find the y coordinate on this guy when x equals 2. In other words, part 2 is asking for f of 2. Does that make sense? y equals f of 2. So let's have a look. Can you help me do the substitution? What am I going to write first? Don't tell me the answer. Tell me the substitution. 2 squared. 2 squared. Plus 3. 3 lots of 2. Plus 2. Very good. Now we can start to evaluate. 4 plus 6 plus 2. Last I checked, that was 12. Very good. Okay. Now this is a y coordinate, right? So this is not about like how fast are you going. This is about where are you, right? You've got a y value of 12. Part 3. Find the equation of the tangent at p. Okay, now think about this, right? Um, this At this point, it will really help to have a very rough sketch. Okay, so let's draw ourselves a Cartesian plane. Because we want to work out what it is that we're calculating. Okay? Um, x squared plus 3x plus 2. If I asked you to graph that, what would you do to it? What would be your instinct? It is a parabola. But to know what kind of parabola, I'm going to... Thank you, Laura. So have a look. We can factorize this, can't we? x plus 2 and x plus 1. Very good. So, x-intercepts? Minus 2 and minus 1. Minus 2 and minus 1. I'm going to go through there. And we actually saw this before, didn't we? We actually had a look. Ooh, yeah, uh, I'm just looking if I'm going to have enough space here. Like so? Is that okay? I'm trying to make sure my scale is okay. All right. So what they're asking for is, where is the tangent when x equals two? That's why they're interested in this. So if that's negative one and negative two, I'm placing two about there. There's x equals two. So here I am on the graph. What would the tangent look like? Can you put your arm the way the tangent would go? Where would it go? It's going to be kind of just sort of going up and then just grazing it, right? Just touching, and then off it goes. So we can, in fact, draw this somewhat approximately right now, like so. That green line, that's what we're trying to find, okay? Part one and part two, they gave us all the information that we needed. We've got an x value, namely 2. We've got a y value, namely 12. So I'm going to write them down together, 2 and 12. And using the derivative, the gradient function, I also know the gradient at this point right up there. You told me before it was steep and it was positive. Does that match what you expected? Yeah. Thumbs up. So I've got m equals 7. If these are the piece of information that I've got, how do I find the equation of a line that goes through there with this gradient? What am I going to use? I've got a form of a straight line for this, right? This green thing is a straight line. I'll give you a clue. It starts with y minus. Y minus Y1, what's Y1? In this case, it's 12, it's a Y coordinate. Y minus Y1, there it is, and then equals what? M, X minus. M, which is the gradient, 7 outside of X minus X1, which in this case is 2. Like so. Can we tidy this up a little bit? Let's tidy this up. I'm going to add 12 to both sides and expand this. What am I going to get down the end? 7X minus 7x minus, no, no, no. minus, minus 2. Now, 
you can see my graph is not all that accurate. It should have been steeper, actually, because it should have gone through at minus 2. But not too bad. I just eyeballed it. Okay? So now that you know what it is, you can draw a much more accurate version of it. Um, 7x minus 2 is the equation of this green line. You've used calculus to be able to find where exactly this is. Not an approximation, not so like, it's kind of. Yeah? Did I do this wrong? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah? Yes? No? Yes? Yes, yes. Cool. Okay. So we just found, we, we worked out the gradient of the tangent, we just found out what the equation of the tangent was. Very good. So we worked out the gradient of the tangent here. And then we piece it together with other information to get the equation, the entire thing about the tangent. Okay. 7x minus 2, right? Yep. Oh, it's like a little bit of 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 Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay. Um, so, and in fact, if you want, we can just check this real quick. Well, let's have a look. Okay, I'm too lazy to plug it in, so I'm just going to draw this for you right now. So, what do we got? x squared plus 3x plus 2, right? Plus 2. So, there's my graph. And what do we work out as the equation of the tangent? 7x minus 2. 7x. 7x. Minus 2. Perfect. Whoops, go away. There it is, right there. Nailed it. Yeah. See that? Yeah. It's not close, it's exact. That's the art of this. That we've got precision, not like, ah, I'm kind of close, I've got an approximation. We have it precisely. And in fact, the further you zoom into that, it never cuts twice, it only ever... It's uh, kind of. It actually does touch, which asymptotes don't do. Okay?